First, we never heard of thalassemia, so we didn't know what it was. So that was the main shock. The second, obviously, we were devastated. And also the fact that there's no cure. It's, it's very difficult putting the needle in. It's just, you know, we usually cry every time we do it. Not in front of her anymore, but yeah, it's very difficult. And she cries always. When we start, you know, the injection, she said, I don't want to have that because I don't like the needle. I said, no, Vita, you have to have that because this is your requirement. So it's all stressful, it's all horrible, it's all hurtful, upsetting. You know, we think about it every day. It's a needle. And if it was really like a uh, injection or something, just put it in and then, like diabetes, you know, just pluck it in and that. I wouldn't mind that every night. But like, oh, staying like the whole night. And it makes scars and bruises, but when I come in the morning, oh, my tummy is hurting because of that thing. One of the challenges in thalassemia and in managing thalassemia and control of thalassemia uh, is that um, the awareness, the level of awareness in the community is really quite low. And even though this is a common genetic condition, uh, particularly in some uh, specific communities, um, few people uh, have even heard of thalassemia. Just wondered if you'd heard of thalassemia? Not, not lately. Does it uh, pertain to anything um, special? Thalassemia, no, I haven't, I haven't heard it before. Is it catching? <laughs> no. Thalassemia, I think, is the one kind of disease which occurs there in the summer, thalassemia. Do you know age? <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> no, I've never heard of it. Young children get it. They do. Senior. Sounds like emphysemia. <laughs> no, no idea. Uh, I don't know, some problem with, I don't know, hypothalamus or something like that? It's quite close to having anem like anemia. Thalassemia, no idea. No idea. Any idea? Food poisoning? I have thalassemia. It's beta thalassemia major. And what that means is that I can't produce my red blood cells. So every four weeks, I have to have a transfusion to replace my red blood cells. What it also means is that I have excess iron in my body and my body can't get rid of that iron on its own. So I have to have a drug to help my body release that iron. We've got thalassemia, so every month we have to go to the hospital to get some blood and then when they give the blood, they put there's a bit too much iron in it, and then um, we put Desferol on, and then the Desferol helps get iron out, and the tablets help us get iron out. I've been practicing that. Sometimes when you first go, you can be a little bit scared when you like grow up a bit. You can be scared, and when it goes in, you want to jump and cry, but sometimes you just hold on to something really tight. My name's Nuja Hanfrog, I'm a sickle cell and thalassemia specialist. I work in Tower Hamlets. There's a very large community of Asians in this area. And I think there's really poor awareness in, in England and in other countries where there is thalassemia, for example, Bangladesh. I mean, I think it's due to lack of education and how much knowledge they have of, you know, thalassemia disorder. Thalassemia is common in many parts of the world. Uh, particularly uh, parts of the world that used to be affected uh, by malaria. If you look at the, a world map, you see that the, the areas of the highest prevalence, where it's most common, starts with the eastern Mediterranean, so Greece, Cyprus, Turkey, and then across the Middle East, including Palestine, including Syria, Lebanon, Iran, Iraq, and then across into India, Pakistan and Bangladesh, South Asia. Southeast Asia, China, Vietnam, Cambodia, the Philippines, and to, to some extent also uh, Indonesia. And of course, because people from those parts of the world have immigrated to Northern Europe and to North America, we now see thalassemia uh, in these countries, including our own. Me and my wife, we didn't actually find out we were carriers um, until well after we had actually conceived our first child. Um, the time where we actually found out about the problem was when 
um, we had our baby. Uh, when, when Khadija was born, there was some test, standard tests that were done in which revealed that Khadija has got um, thalassemia major. I was a carrier and unfortunately my husband was a carrier and uh, Fatima was major thalassemia where you have to go for blood transfusion. But it was difficult because 